From what we know from early access, Game Changers content and different information that the Sim Gurus have released, we know that the new Life and Death expansion pack is really focused on craft pack play and uniting all of the systems into one system called the Soul's Journey. Your Sim's Soul's Journey will be based on their wants, their aspirations, milestones, holidays, and festival invites for young adults and older. So I wanted to list out four packs that I would recommend you buy if you're already thinking of buying or plan on getting the Life is Life and Death expansion pack. Of course, some of the obvious ones, which I'm not going to go over, are the Spooky Day Stuff Pack, Werewolf and Vampire Game Packs, if you're into occult play or spooky gameplay. But these are four less obvious packs that I would recommend. Number one, I recommend Growing Together. Family dynamics sound like they're going to work very closely with life and death. These dynamics should affect the way that Sims react at funerals or when listening to a will being read. Sim gurus have confirmed cross-pack play with the burnout system that came with the Going Together expansion pack. I would go so far as to speculate that there should also be cross-pack play when it comes to the keepsake box. For those of you who don't remember, the keepsake box can be designated by an elder and used to store personal mementos and then trusted to a younger family member. There are three different levels of keepsake boxes, a cheapskate all the way up to truly ornate with a cost difference of 100 to 400 simoleons. Elder Sims can designate this keepsake box before they start using it and they have one of seven different options. Depending on what option your sim, your elder sim designates will affect family dynamics going forward. For example, if your elder sim designates family means high expectations, it will assign a strict family dynamic between the sim who inherits the keepsake box and the next parent, child, grandchild, or grandparent they speak to. So it's very interesting, that dynamic. And so I'm also interested in seeing how that's going to play across. There are also three specific bucket list goals related to growing together, according to the article from the simscommunity.info. And for that reason, I would recommend growing together as it adds overall gameplay to The Sims 4, but I think it also has a lot of cross-pack play with life and death. Number two, I would recommend high school years. And you're probably thinking, why high school years? That's totally random. In terms of cross-pack pay, this pack has the most with seven bucket list items, which includes being scared while in a haunted house, woohooing on a ride, Socially awkward sims have three different bucket list items, including getting the feeling encouraged trait, feeling understood, and getting the coolest kid in school moodlet. Sims with the party animal trait have a bucket list goal of hosting five social events at any time. And sims with the overachiever trait have a bucket list goal of being the best, which is a combination of rewards, traits, lifestyles, and university degrees. Now that high school years actually works because it did take quite a few patches to fix all of the bugs in this expansion pack, I think it'd be enjoyable for a lot of people to play. It also sets your sim up to start their soul's journey by getting them a lot of skills and relationships while they're still teens. And it's really easy to follow them during their active high school day. Number three pack, I would recommend the seasons. I think I recommend seasons every time I recommend an expansion pack simply because it's the bare minimum. Having those four seasons and the different seasonal activities gives you more for your Sims to do. I think it make it very pretty to see how Ravenwood looks in the winter versus in the fall and having different sort of outdoor activities in addition to the festivals that come with Ravenwood. It's a bare minimum expansion pack. If ever you're buying one, I always recommend seasons. It also gives more holidays to the base game calendar, specific holidays like Harvest Fest, Winter Fest, where you can meet more NPC characters like Father Winter. So for that reason alone, I recommend Seasons. And then number four, as a less obvious choice, I recommend Paranormal Stuff Pack. Spooky overlaps here in this pack between the On Hollow Ground lot trait, which comes with life and death, and the Haunted House, you know, lot type that came with Paranormal Stuff Pack. You can have a really spooky experience if your Sims are into that kind of thing. Also, those little specters or whatever those little floating blobs are overlap between life and death and paranormal stuff pack. So again, if you want your sim to be both a active Grim Reaper career and a paranormal investigator, I mean, that's definitely an option. And so I think just having more spooky, if you're into spooky, that's another great pack. So those are the four that I would definitely recommend. As an honorable mention, I recommend cottage living, island living, and city living 
those three's expansion packs because festivals seem to be a huge part in the Sims 4 world and does affect your Sims soul's journey according to life and death. And there's a lot of festivals that come with those three packs. For example, City Living has four different festivals, including the Spice Festival and the Romance Festival. Cottage Living has weekly festivals or contests, I guess they call them, for cooking, uh, gardening, and animal care. And then Island Living has specific festivals, specific cultural festivals that you have to go to Sulani to participate in. And so for those reasons, I think having festivals gives your sim a reason to leave their house meet other sims, engage in different activities, and try to actually win some of these festivals. There's also cross-pack play with some bucket list goals specific for these. So, for example, if you have City Living, one of the the bucket list goals is to attend four different festivals in San Machuno. So if you're looking to enrich your experience with life and death, with cross pack play, as it seems to be, they actually focus on that in this expansion pack. These are the packs I recommend. Let me know in the comments up below if there's any other packs that you would recommend to go along with life and death.